Y'all, I believe I already did an intro for this. So we are going to be doing our sweet potato apple spiced mini loaves. And this is my mini loaf pan that I'm really excited to use. I got this at Home Goods. So it makes a design. Like that's a leaf, that's an acorn. It makes a little design on each loaf. Now I think this is only going to make maybe four loaves, so I won't be using all of the little spots. But yeah, just want to come on and tell y'all that because I think I already did the intro. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go. Wake us up with your desire. You're the one we're fighting for. So the first thing that I want to do is peel my apples and then we want to dice them up really, really little. We don't want big apple chunks. So I've already got y'all with me. And guess what I did? I got to look for my apple peeler. Blooper! I'll be right back else is like that when you get ready to do something and you go to look for it right and you can't find it okay so I always twist my stems off I don't have my little apron on I should I got one of my aprons stuck on this little latch on the door and I you got somebody to get off with me because I can't get it off all right, y'all. So what I do with my apples is I slice them first. Because for me, it's just easier to do it that way. And then I cut them in half like this. And then I just cut this core right on out of there. Because I don't have a core. I had gotten a core, but it didn't work properly, so... Gotta find a better one, y'all. All right, y'all. This is our half a cup of brown sugar. Now, you want to make sure that you really pack that in there. Move this out of the way because we don't need it anymore. And then um, we will be needing two cups of all-purpose flour. So, I'm just going to use one of my little cups here and just scoop it into here. I hope y'all can see that okay. So you want two cups. And that right there is right at two cups. All right, so we don't need our flour anymore. All right, so I'm gonna take my sifter here and I'm just gonna gradually start putting flour in there and this is really important you have to sift your flour you have to y'all that you cannot bypass that step you can't use a substitute you um, you can't use pre-sifted flour you have to do it yourself sifted flour also you want to be preheating your oven to 325 okay all right hopefully I'm in here all the way y'all I hope my head didn't cut off so you want to do um, I totally forgot myself you want to do one teaspoon of baking soda and one half teaspoon of baking powder into your flour 
So we're going to do one half teaspoon of, oh, look at that, y'all. I haven't even opened it yet. I got so many of these sitting around because I kind of wanted to stock up for the holidays. All right, so you want one half teaspoon of baking powder. And you want one teaspoon of baking soda. Now we're going to add our one teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we are going to do, I don't have my glasses on y'all. Let me get my glasses. We're going to do one four teaspoon. I know I said half teaspoon, but I changed my mind because it can be overpowering. We're going to do one fourth teaspoon of allspice. And we are going to do one fourth teaspoon of ground cloves. Now we are going to add in our one cup of packed brown sugar. It just falls right out of there. Boy, don't you just love the dishes when you bake, y'all. Okay. And we are going to add our one full cup of apple cider. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and mix this part of it before I add the rest. So give me just a minute. All right, y'all. So for one reason or another, my KitchenAid cover got messed up. So I'm hoping this does not splatter. I, I sure will be upset if it does. So we're going to lower the tool in. We're going to lock it in place. We're going to mix on low. Oh, wait. Can't mix anything if it's not plugged in, y'all. Oh, wait. My pot ain't secured. That's a big no-no. This is what happens when you do live baking, y'all. Live baking, live cooking, no matter what it is. And while that's mixing, I'm going to go ahead and wash these dishes over here. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? do 
um, I'm going to pause that just a minute because I need to take a uh, tiny little spatula and make sure that everything is in there, all the flour, the baking soda, because I don't, it, it can mess up your mini loaves if you don't get everything incorporated in there. So you just stir it on the bottom. You know, some people think because they have a KitchenAid, they don't have to do any of this. That's that's a myth, y'all. You want to make sure you get all of that. Make sure nothing's sticking on the bottom down there. And let's just mix that a little bit more before we add the other ingredients. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add in our one and a half cup of sweet potato puree. I'm feeling like I didn't do enough, y'all. But this is my sweet potatoes that I processed. I got to use the rest of these. So we want to do one and a half cup. And I'm going to pack it. I should have doubled this recipe, honestly. I don't know why I didn't. But that's one half cup of sweet potato puree we're going to put in there. Just add a little extra drop for good measure. And drop our little mixer back down in here. I'm going to go ahead and do my one cap bowl of vanilla extract. And when you know it, this is one I haven't opened. So one cup of vanilla extract. Oops, that was a little more than one, one cap bowl. That's for sure. I got a little bit happy there. Y'all, I wish I could go ahead and just double this. I could, but I don't feel like dirtying everything back up again. Oh, it'll be all right. All right, now we're going to add a little bit of oil that we need, which was one and one half tablespoon. We're going to drop in our apples. Our raisins, which is approximately three-fourths of a cup. But like I said, I do to my heart's content, and I just do a handful. And then we're going to add our walnuts. And those are our chopped walnuts. So that was about one half cup of chopped walnuts. So we're going to put our mixer back down. And mix that for just a few more minutes.
now we want to take our baker spray which I use the Pam because it's got the flower it's the perfect release spray so I'm gonna do it over the sink over here that is our mixture I'll just do four at first. All right, now we're going to take it. We're going to pour some of our filling in here. And let's see. I want to be really careful because I don't want to overfill. But I don't want to underfill either, y'all. I tripped that. Blooper! I'll be right back. I might have enough to fill up this whole tray. All right, y'all, these are gonna go in the oven at 325 for almost an hour. Well, it depends. I have to check them to see if they're done. But 325 for an hour at first, if they're still not done, you keep baking them until a toothpick in the middle comes out clean. Standing in your presence now 